What is going on everybody? Water Cool Fool here making another video. Today is April 8, 2015. Um, approximately 15, 48 hours. Alright guys, now who remembers? Now this is going to be old, old, old video I made. Who remembers this keyboard here? Can anybody tell me which video or what year I got this in? I got this either uh, towards the end of 2008 or the beginning of 2009. This was actually one of the first like unboxing reviews I ever did. And this keyboard still works after six years or something like that. I know, I believe it's six years. If I'm doing my math right, it could be longer or something like that. But uh, anyways, um, came to a problem a long, long, long time ago. Uh, where I was kind of timid about taking apart stuff. Um, I wasn't as rambunctious as I am today. If I figure out a problem, I'm going to fix it, take it apart, and figure it out myself. Well, with these keyboards, um, apparently the the space, uh, space key or whatever, space bar wasn't working. A um, couple of the, the WASD buttons weren't working. Or anything like that so I ended up getting a whole new keyboard instead which uh, I have right now which is right here this is a new uh, lighting profile that I got for this keyboard looks pretty sweet right but um called customer support and I said do you have a um, key membrane replacement for this keyboard just a keyboard membrane replacement they're like no um, pretty much the reason why they do um, the full-on replacement with that warranty is because they out, of course, they're going to outsource their products where they're going to get it made, and they won't divulge where you can get that product. Well, I was having some problems. Um, like I said before, keys weren't registering and everything. Membrane could be replaced. Uh, if I can get a hold of one, I'll definitely take that. But um, what I did essentially was take apart the keyboard you have screws all along here there's no hidden screws so you just pop it off it's held on by a couple of clips so you just take a flathead screwdriver you hear that clip pop and then slide your finger carefully making sure you're not going to slice it or dice it and you go around the keyboard from there um i basically took off the membrane and then put it back on and then um started playing to see which membrane part wasn't really working that well so I got everything into place. The membrane is actually held down like these uh, little plastic pegs, so you can't mess it up if you take it off and put it back on. They're gonna have holes in the membranes or membrane. If you can kind of see right here, uh, let me see. So you have a screw right here, then you kind of have like a plastic peg here, and then a plastic peg right here. That's where that keyboard membrane goes over and kind of locks into place. And so it won't move or anything. So that's what essentially I did was just take out the membrane, um, took out all the keys, uh, as you can see. And the key puller that I got for the, that um, at Max Keyboard keycap replacement definitely came in handy because I took every single key cap out. And uh, what you do when you do any electronics cleaning is hit it with canned air if possible. Now, if you got a little grimies and stuff like I did in here is quite disgusting so what I did is I took a little damp cloth not soaking wet just damp if you get soaking wet you're an idiot and you shouldn't be touching electronics but all I did was take this and then just slowly like go in the uh, cracks and stuff make sure your keyboard's unplugged and you don't have the Logitech power Brick going to this thing, and I just I'm just doing this, cleaning it up or whatever. My friend said his keyboard is kind of going out of whack. Spaceboard, uh, spaceboard, spacebar is kind of not working. So just do that and everything like that. And then, with if you want your keycaps to be really really clean, this is I got to be really careful not get it over my keyboard. But if you see all that, and my freaking camera is going zoomy crazy. Um, but if you can see all that, these are all the keycaps that I have. And they're soaking in warm, um, soapy water to get any of the grutter grime that may have gotten on the metal um, metal bars. So here we go. Let me see if I can pull. Like, 
cleaning that up. That used to have a whole bunch of gooky stuff on it. I don't know what you want to call it, but it was nasty. And then, um, you know, this one right here still has some gooky stuff on it, and it's coming off. It, it's probably from when I spilt soda or something, or just eating and being careless. So I'm soaking that in. That's there you go. You can kind of see where it's yellow. So um, that's getting taken care of right now, um, getting cleaned up. So I'm letting this soak in. I don't know how long I'll let it soak. And after that, it's going to go through a nice, probably cold water or hot water rinse. And then after the rinse, I'm going to lay each cap out, or try to anyway, and have them dry overnight. Or I might end up uh, hand drying them and uh, putting them back into place and essentially you'll basically have a brand new keyboard with no dust grime and or gritty crap. So that's how you clean your keyboard. Hopefully you'll have a keyboard that is pretty easy. Um, I did notice that getting some of the keys like the up, the up key and the right arrow key for your number pad was definitely, um, not, an, not the number pad, but to the left of the number pad was definitely a pain in the ass to get out because you have that plastic shroud so when you're putting in the keycap puller it kind of gotten in the way so I had to do a little finagling to get that keycap puller on it to physically pull it up and also some of these do have the metal bar so that made it even more interesting making sure not to break the plastic that the metal bar goes in so anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you out in some way. Sorry about the long video. And as always, comment, subscribe, rate this video. Click that like button. Share this video if you found it interesting. And you guys have a great day now.